All right, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is is Grace Tutor, where we solve technical drive problems, and we also provide information for you to do well in your exams. Now, what I want to do right now is to show you how you can draw the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation of the hexagonal knot. The front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation of a hexagonal knot. And I'm going to do this in third angle projection. I want to produce the views in third angle projection. Uh, okay, before I move on to explain what you have been on the screen, uh, if you are a technical drawing student and you are watching my video for the first time, I want to advise you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, when you put on, you subscribe, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And help me to share my video with your friends who are also technical drawing students. Now, let's see what we have here. Let's talk about it. Now, the knot that you want to construct its views is M28. And you need to calculate the distance across flat. Distance across flat is 1.5 times D. D is 28. So 1.5 times 28 gives us 42. And then you need to know the radius R. And radius R is half of the distance across flat, which is 42 by 2. That gives us 21. And then the thickness of the knot is 0.8 D or 0.6 D for 18 knot. So 0.8 times 28 gives us 22.4. Now, let's see how the work can be done. So the first thing that you need to do is to draw a vertical center line. So draw a vertical center line okay then as i said i want to do it in third angle projection so i have to put the plan up here so draw your horizontal center line okay then take a measurement of a measurement of 21 millimeters on your ruler which is half of the distance across flat don't forget that uh, the distance across flat that we are using is 42 millimeters so half of it is 21 millimeters so draw a circle so draw a circle like this okay so after drawing this circle, the next thing that we are going to do is that so you come to this point here with your T square. So draw a horizontal line. So draw it to this side so that we can use that to produce the end elevation. Then so draw this like this. Then take your 60 degree self square. So what you want to do is to produce a hexagon. So to produce a hexagon. So draw, so from here to here, okay, then bring it here, so draw the line from here to here, and then you turn it to this side, so draw it from here to here, and also so draw from here to here all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i want to take these lines all right i've been taking the sides of the hexagon so the next thing we are going to do is to draw a minor circle to draw a minor circle so the radius of that will be 14 millimeters that is 28 by 2 14 millimeters so draw a minor circle sorry 14 millimeters all right i didn't take 14 okay so this is 14 millimeters so draw a minor circle so this minor circle we are not going to complete it so we are not going to complete it so we just you need to have a short break so you need to have a short break so take note of this okay so then 
we produce the major so this is the major so this is the major circle so the minor circle so we are going to complete that so just take like 13 millimeters for minor circle the one that we just produced which is incomplete is for major circle i'm sorry for that uh, statement so so this is for the minor circle so we make it complete okay so having done this the next thing that we are going to do is that from this point this point and this point this point we produce vertical lines so from here so draw a vertical line from this point so from this point draw a vertical line down like this now from this point draw a vertical line so draw a vertical line down so from this point here also draw a vertical line so from this point so draw from this point draw a vertical line okay then move it up a bit and draw horizontal line here like this so take a measurement of 22 millimeters which is the thickness of the knot 22 millimeters so you take a measurement of 22 this is 22 millimeters so then draw horizontal line draw horizontal line from here so we draw it to this side this also i will also extend it to the right side so the next thing that we are going to do is that so you take your compass and take that measurement of 21 millimeters which is half of the distance across flat so put it at this point here put it at this point and draw a circle like this so draw a circle like this so then put it at this point here put it at this point also draw a circle like this so the circle intersects here so this is the point of intersection this is another point of intersection so the next thing to do is this so put the pinpoint of the compass here at the point of intersection here and you extend it you extend it let it touch this line here so let it touch this line then draw an arc like this draw an arc like this then bring it here at this point so draw an arc here like this okay then bring it to this point here so you also draw an arc like this so be careful so here you draw an arc like this so turn it to this side so draw an arc like this all right so having drawn this arc so the next thing is so put the pinpoint of your compass here so put it here so let it touch this point so from here you draw an arc like this okay so then you put it at this point here where the circle intersect the vertical line so draw an arc like this you also draw an arc to this side okay so having drawn the arc so the next thing that we need to do is that so we need to so you take your 30 degree cell square so bring it to this point here so we need to produce a chamfer here so with your 30 degree cell square so bring it here also produce a chamfer here then you turn it like this so bring it to this point so we need to produce a chamfer here so this 
So the chamfer is drawn with 30 degree side of our 60 or 30 by 60 degree cell square. So now, so the next thing that we are going to do is that, so I'll take my ruler, so I'll make this line thick from here to here. Okay, so I'll do the same thing here. So I'll make this line a thick line. So thick line from here to here. All right, so the next thing is, so I also need to make this line a thick line. So make this line a thick line. So make this line from here to here. A thick line from here to here. And also this line. So from here to here, you make it a thick line. And then, so this line, so you make it a thick line from here to here. So this is the front elevation of the knot. So this is the plan and this is the front elevation. So the next thing that you want to do is to produce the end elevation so from here so as you know that when we are producing orthographic view so i need to extend this line so i need to extend this also so extend this line now i need to extend this line okay so the next thing i'm going to do with my 45 degree size square so setting it at this point here so I will draw an incline line like this. Then here I will produce a vertical line. So a vertical line from this point. So a vertical line from here down. A vertical line from here down. And a vertical line from this point down here all right so now so with what i have done here so with that so with that 21 millimeters which is the radius of the distance across flat so you put at this point so put it at this point, then draw an arc of all right with that 21 millimeters. So put it at this point and you draw an arc. Alright, so that 21 millimeters. So we take it from here. So put it at this point and draw an arc so draw an arc like this and then also put it at this point so draw an arc like this here then put it at this point so make an arc here. So put it here. So make an arc here. So put it here. So make an arc here. And then so put it here. So make an arc here. Alright, so with what we have done now then then put the pinpoint of the compass at this point so where this axe intersect so put it here and extend to this point so extend to this point here as you can see you extend it here and you draw an arc like this so draw an arc here so put it here where this axe intersect then draw an arc like this and also to this side all right then bring it here so draw an arc here so draw an arc here to this side so bring it to this point here where the arcs intersect 
также. So draw like this. You also to draw it to this side. All right, so with what we have here, so with what we have here, so now, so we draw a vertical line. It's a vertical line from here to here, and a vertical line from here to here. Okay, so this would be a vertical line from here to here then. So here we make this line, the whole of this line a thick line, and also the whole of this line a thick line from here to here. All right, so this is the solution. So we have produced the plan, the front elevation, and the end elevation of a hexagonal knot. So as simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.